Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today we are back playing some more Peglin. Uh, last, last time we played, uh, we had that another um, crazy, crazy, um, like, Musrkull, uh, kind of Baladin build and stuff like that, and it was just absolutely insane, um, and uh, we're still still at Crucible 10 there for, or uh, Crucible 11, right? Um, but I wanted to bounce over to Spin Venture just so we, you know, have a bunch of variety, uh, and then obviously we'll have to beat Baladin, because Round Joe, we've already beaten uh, Crucible 11, so we're going to just jump into been venture i uh, kind of see obviously we're doing the terra ball thing which technically the terra ball is not the worst thing because it gets its damage buffed a little bit uh because it's unique you know from a spin vin tingent toral um and uh, you know what let's do attack supply blind four i could i could see myself getting some aoe and stuff like that uh, i like your pineapple shirt seems pretty on brand for you appreciate it i wanted to wear it during the sponge -a -thon, um but uh i was i was lazy and i, I hadn't washed it yet um but it's, it's a new shirt i got it for my birthday um from uh, my girlfriend's uh, brother and his wife so pretty comfortable pretty comfortable um but it would i i should have i should have worn it for the spongebob <laughs> event uh and for those of you guys watching on youtube if you guys haven't seen um, go check out. I probably should be hitting this bat. Uh, go check out the uh, the sponge. We did a whole like eight and a half hour video of us beating SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake in one sitting. We filmed TTG SpongeBob trivia in his studio. Made it a whole big fun event. Um, and I think there's gonna be a compilation video. There's limited merch uh, that's going to be uh, coming out, um, or that it is out, and it's gonna be available till September 10th. Um, and I still need to generate a. Uh, I, I, I haven't I haven't done it ever before, um, but I got I got to generate a coupon too for the winner of the the clip thing, which was SLX. Um, okay, so I want AOE here. Um, mm, kind of, you know what? We'll get ball lightning. We'll get ball lightning. I feel like we've kind of ignored ball lightning a lot lately, even though we did discover. You know, obviously it's pretty decent on Spin Venter, uh, because almost anything can be pretty decent. Um, you know what? I, for the meme, I'm gonna go for the pocket sand or whatever this is called. I'll, I'll take unicorn horn. I was gonna just say like, oh, let's just do a bunch of blind stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna complain about unicorn horn. I will complain if you... Yes, I was gonna say, if you didn't let me go to the elite, uh, we did end up going to this elite here. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, do that. We got a crit. We got a crit. And obviously the pebbles don't get any extra damage. This might suck hit the refresh ball lightning's only level one it is buffed up a little bit of damage but i guess we we can we're blinding him right this is one of the uh, mini bosses that blind will probably help us a lot um maybe it really depends on luck oh yikes yeah we're gonna need this we're gonna need this luck to save us so bad we need we okay we're he's he's 20 20 percent blind we took a hit there um this is gonna do a lot of damage. He'll be at 24% blind. Got a really good refresh. Come on. Nope, we took that hit. Rip. Um. Come on, let me let me dodge one attack. Let me let this blind do literally some. Oh, we might just win here, actually. But if we don't, I expect blind to save me. 32%? No! Blind didn't do anything. I know like we didn't have a very high percent chance. But like, come on. I wanted that. Um. I think we just go for the refresh. Wow, took a lot of damage. A lot of damage there. Um, can only hit empties. I just, I'm so, uh, you know what? Just for the meme, because we haven't done uh, something like Necromancer in a very long time. I think that could work, right? We ball lightning, we destroy everything, and then we use Necromancer to make everything more powerful or something like that. I'll upgrade um, the lightning. Uh, an alchemist cookbook have a percent chance to refresh into bombs. Um, Sue alchemist cookbook. Um, cause that prevents us from soft locking. If, if we're doing a, you know, bomb stuff, you know, a, a ton of stuff here. So we'll see. We'll see. I have, Oh, that was bad. I haven't done necromancer in, in a very long time. In an extremely long time. I mean, I just, it's, it's been one of those things that I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not for me. It's not for me, but maybe it will be for me here. Maybe this is, this is going to do like a, a Necrobancer Spinventor build. I mean, you can get away with doing a lot of different things on, um, on the Spinventor. I will say that. Um, 
And I suppose this maybe makes it a little bit better if we don't have refreshes. Like, let's see. So it upgrades all those. It did 30. I mean, I don't know. Let's hit this bomb. I don't... I cannot afford to be taking damage right now whatsoever. So that bomb will uh, save us here. Pretty decent. Um, and Unicorn Horn. I mean... Like I always say, I'm never going to complain about Unicorn Horn. We're getting more and more bombs here. Um, just from the Alchemist Cookbook. That's not a... We don't... This is a decent start here. I mean, we're at Crucible 11, so... We need a good start, not just a decent start, but... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, okay. I think probably need to heal as much as I don't want to. Probably need to heal. We were at like 27 HP or something like that. Uh, okay. So definitely going to be discarding the stones here. I don't want to take a bunch of damage here. This is the one that's actually hard. Like, Cause yeah, there's one that is, well, no, there's like two that look very similar to each other. One that's very easy and one that's very hard. Um, but because we have Alchemist Cookbook, this is not going to be a problem. And hopefully lightning ends up getting us a lot of the gold as well. Right? Cause we're adding all these bombs. We're going to kill people faster than we normally intend to. Uh, hopefully kind of helps out a little bit with that. And I want to make sure I can go to the left here. So I'm actually going to get rid of this. Because I want to dig out more of this left side of the map. Make it a little bit easier. Um, so I'd like it. There was, what, two chests? Three chests there. Got to restore. Okay. Okay. I can get behind that. Let's go to the left here. Okay. This is promising. This is promising. Um, reduce self damage from orbs by 50%. Nothing crazy there. We'll take the uh, extra event. Which is a waterfall. Oh, pegboard start with double the bombs. Oh my gosh. What a, what a build so far. Huh. Okay. Apple a day, max HP by 15. Um, yeah, I'm not going to risk it on the elite. I think we could, but we'd have to go through a shop and there's kind of pointless. So this is already an insane build. We have crap ton of bombs to start with. We have a little bit more max HP. We have the potential to keep increasing the max HP on top of healing. Um, we're technically blinding some enemies, which will help us in uh, caves, right? In particular, uh, some of the bosses in uh, caves that will effectively just win you the game here. What would a seal of losing even look like? Oh, seal of losing. <laughs> a guaranteed loss. Well, I could just immediately throw and guarantee a loss that way. <gasps> oh my god, we haven't done Shock Absorber in forever. I'm taking that with all this bomb stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, we went in the fire. That's not good. Okay, you know what? For the first time in a long time, uh, we're going to TTG guarantee seal of approval here in the castle. And um, yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to actually be successful here. This is, this is, uh, this is a very good start here. And uh, the fact that necromancers can hit the bombs as well. I don't know even why I use it. Technically killed. Um, this is this is looking good here so far. Obviously, refreshes are kind of an issue. Um, but the lightning orb kind of helps out with that a lot. So I just want to make sure we get money. I really need to be upgrading this restore to max level here. Um, I'm going to just... Yeah, I'm going to delay this as long... Well, no, we killed already, I think. Yeah, we killed... Got a decent amount of gold here. We weren't able to use the lightning. I should have... Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. Yes. Okay. Healed up a little bit. And now I'll go ahead and kill. I don't want to take any damage here. Just wanted to maximize the amount of gold and everything that I could get here. Um, oh, my God. Refresh. Replenish orb. Oh, my God. I keep having to take things. I keep having to take things instead of upgrading the restore. But they're so good. So now we've solved the refresh issue. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we'll take a moment to rest. We could have to fight an elite. We didn't, so we just got a free healing right before the boss. That is incredible. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Um, okay. So just, I mean, hitting the bombs as much as we can and refreshing because of Alchemist Cookbook. I mean, this honestly may be one of the most broken builds we've done in a very long time here. To be honest, I think that I should have gone for more damage versus hitting these bombs, but it is all okay here. Because we got bombs just appear on this map too. 
The lightning's gonna be able to target whoever we want. Let's see how this goes. Nope. Necromancer's always weird. It's always weird. Never isn't weird. But a lot of bombs. A little bit of damage there. And um, so now we can just add a crap ton of refreshes to the board, which is going to get us so many bombs as well. Oh my god, dude. It feel we have not, dude. We it's honestly probably been what, like nine months a year since we've done shock absorber like this is gonna be fun this is gonna be fun here uh looks like there's a, a simple channel prediction if you think i'm gonna win this run here appreciate you slx hit those bombs i mean we're making it to castle easy and then the bombs are gonna Help us easily, easily in uh, castle. We want to fight uh, the wall. Uh, not the wall. Not the wall. I think we definitely, unless we got like enhanced gunpowder. Enhanced gunpowder would give us the damage against the wall. I We definitely want to fight the ballistas though. There are some channel points being thrown around. Okay, so we did it. Let's go. Um, it's Echo Orb? No, we're not, no, 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 I ain't about that. I am about upgrading the Restorb here to max, baby. Um, and, uh, oh, Matryoshka Shell, all Morbid, all Orbs. Get Morbid. But boards contain one less refresh. The pro so we do have the other refresh thing, but because we're doing so bomb-focused, <sighs> Matryoshka Shell, I, I legitimately... I don't know. I think we actually do take the defresh potion. Refresh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll it'll give neck. We have necromancer. I think we take defresh potion because I don't want the matriarchal doll. I don't have the damage for that. We don't have bob orbs, right? That would be generating more. Um, and I just don't want to do molten mantle. It, I don't think it would be fun. And also, I want to upgrade so many different things right now. So. I don't know. We'll see. I think we'll be fine because Necromancer, like Necromancer, might actually be able to do something here for us, you know. And uh, we have Restored, so we have a little bit of healing. We're gonna keep increasing our max HP further than just 115, which is nice. Uh, who were we fighting for the boss? We were fighting Ballista. Let's go. That is who we wanted to fight. Absa freaking lootly. So. Yeah, I mean, bombs are, I mean, starting with double bombs and then continuously just getting more bombs uh, is very good. Now, obviously, we're only getting the more bombs when we refresh, which is uh, taking a little bit harder time to do, right? But we have the Replenish Orb, we have the Necromancer. Um, so I think we're in a pretty safe place. I'm going to just try to get gold because I imagine things will hit bombs. I want to be able to at least upgrade something. We're not going to be able to buy anything in a shop, but that's fine. I mean, we just got so... Oh, literally not going to do anything. Okay. I see how it is. Um, okay, I'm going to be a little bit greedy. I'm going to admit that. I got what I wanted, right? We got... I think that was, what, four gold? And still got to go where we wanted here. Um, wall bounces contribute to damage. That's okay. Nothing crazy. And I think we do take the elite here. Um, I will remove a stone... No, I'll remove the terror ball. Remove the terror ball. Though, I wonder if that's actually... Should you remove the Terra Ball on Spinventor? I, I should have actually looked at what the damage was on this... Uh, on the Terra Ball versus a Pebble. Because technically the Terra Ball was unique. You know? And so the Spinventingen Terrality... These, these names. I swear, every YouTube video too, everyone, like, there's something I mispronounced. And, like, I do that a lot in the games, right? Like, I just, I say the wrong words a lot. I pronounce words wrong a lot. I'm sure you guys know. But Peglet in particular, it's like, every episode, it's like, oh, you didn't pronounce this one really weird pun thing correctly. Like, it was, um, uh, I kept saying, um, Mustercole, and then you guys are like, no, it's Mutant Mercical. And then there was... What was that? There's just, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it here. You know, at this point, mispronunciation's your thing. <laughs> it's just like Peglin in particular is so rough on that, right? Like, because it's like half these words are made up. What do you tell? Like, how am I wrong? I mean, I know how I'm wrong because if, if, if it's a pun based on real words, then those real words have real pronunciations. But it's like, God dang it. Like, um, but there's been times where I'm, you know, every now and then I'll, I'll watch one of my own videos, you know, um, like I'll just be chilling and I'll be like, you know, what? let me let me just go put on a, a video of mine. You know, sometimes it's like the series that I really like that, like, 
uh, people don't like too much. So like there was a period, period of time where I would watch like an episode of my Rogue Legacy series every now and then. Um, but I've done it with Peglin too. And there is times where I uh, I just say the complete wrong thing and I don't notice I say the wrong thing. And uh, I can see how that's frustrating for sure. I, I will say that. Right? Um, but yeah, so the blinds, honestly, helping out here. Sand Arrows is pretty good against the bosses that it works against, you know? I, I, I don't know how, if I'm as passionate as I used to be about the how much I hate blind and all of the debuffs and buffs, which I still think I do. I think I've kind of learned to accept it, I don't know. Um, duplicate hit crits and refreshes. Uh, nah. I'm good. Mmm. I say we upgrade ball lightning. Ooh, prime slime, baby. Uh, I should have saved money here too, but I can at least afford a removal. I'm trying to somehow. Oh, no, there's, there's not enough gold here. Um, prime slime, baby. It's also frustrating when you're corrected about the way you pronounced, pronounce stuff. Yeah, I could, I could see that. I could see that for sure. So we'll just get rid of a pebble. I d there was the uh, short fuse, which would have been nice for more chests and since we're doing bomb stuff, but what am I going to do, right? What am I going to do? It's a big boy cup you have. Yeah, I um, I finally retired my old water bottle because I left it in my uh, car and also it was... I mean, you guys have probably seen it. It was like all of the, the stuff was peeling off of it. So this was a cup that Red had. He had been given. He, he got like four different freaking cups for his birthday like a while ago, several months ago. So he'd offered it to me a long time ago. And I was like, can I still have this? He was like, yeah, just, just have it. Happy birthday. So that was, that was my birthday present from Red. Big old water cup. Because that's like the one healthy habit I have is drinking water. Um, oh, just focus on the bombs, dude. I'm so glad we got Prime Slime there. Prime Slime is so good on Spin Vent. I mean, this build is cracked. This build is absolutely cracked. Especially with Ball Lightning, too. It's going to help hit all that slime. Hit, obviously, keep hitting all the bombs that it's doing. Let's go. So we're taking a little bit of damage, but, you know. We're, we're trucking along here. I think it's probably... I'll, I'll even commit, right? I'll commit to trying to upgrade the Necromancer, you know? I will give it a fair shot here. Um, I'll give it a fair shot. Um, well, not like this, though. Ball lightning it is. <laughs> we can't start with Necromancer, I hate to say. That was crazy, though. That was a lot of bombs. They're all dead. That guy's dead. Immediately get a restorb here. And Defresh Potion is giving us the dan- You know what? That's that's pretty good. That's pretty- Because we have a reliable way to get refreshes, right? With the, uh, the Replenish Orb. I think Defresh Potion is helping us a lot. It would have helped us tremendously if we were fighting against the wall, right? That would have been the DPS that we really needed. That it gave us, you know? I would love to get some, uh, some more bomb relics here, though. Um, okay, just gonna keep upgrading. We'll upgrade Necromancer to max here. Um, and I will go for two chests and a shot, which means I should start saving my money. Um, yeah. Yeah. Water is the best drink. Even not for thirst, but during meals and shit. With meals, you really want it barely above freezing point. But still, but still bis. I don't know what bis is. That's probably, I, I, I can't even infer. But still, I don't know. But yeah, no, water's OP. Water is definitely OP. Base, okay, so we increased our crit damage by one, and we increased our basic blade by one. Kind of some underwhelming uh, bombs, but you know what? That is just raw damage that's very useful for things like ball lightning and stuff. Oh, best in slot. I've never heard, well, I, I've heard that. I guess I just, yeah. Don't play enough games where that is a thing to hear it on a regular basis. That's good though. That's good. Okay, so this is the this is the Necromancer. I mean, it's got a lot of damage, right? It doesn't end up hitting a lot, but it does bring them back and the fact that it's upgrading them. You know? I don't know. 
I think it'll it'll be valid in this run for sure. Like I think, and I think it'll even make this run better. It's not like I'm just forcing this in because I want it. That's what I did originally. But um, okay, so can I? F no, I'm just gonna heal. I hate to do it. I'm gonna just heal. I ain't gonna buy nothing. Uh, Ballista, you definitely need um health against you know. Um, yeah, I will upgrade replenish orb. Maybe get some money. No, oh, don't go in the fire. Okay, I'm done being greedy. I'm done being greedy. I'm done being greedy. I'm not even gonna look because I can't afford anything. I don't want to know what I can't afford. Um, I hate getting a replenish orb here early, but we'll do it. <sighs> Add some refreshes all over the place that we wouldn't have otherwise had. Oh yeah, these guys have 62 health now. They're tricky, tricky tricksters. Um, I'm actually a little bit scared, to be honest. Um, because Restorb's the one consistent healing we have. We do have Prime Slime with some of the healing slime, but that's just, I, I wouldn't say very reliable. And because they only have, oh my God, because they have 62 health now, you gotta get two bombs to clear them if you don't have AOE. So that is very rough here. That is very rough. Because they're just going to keep walking in the way. Though I am blinding him. So the blind may actually save us, right? Might actually save us. Eventually. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Shock Absorber. Keep getting bombs, baby. Okay, that's some good damage. Especially with Defresh Potion. That, that turned out incredible. That turned out incredible. Come on, blind. Nope, that's fine though. Okay, this is gonna do something. I don't know what it is. A little bit of healing. Getting a little bit of healing. I think it'll 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 add up. Mm. Glad we got that. Uh, we got lucky with getting that replenish orb up first. Very lucky, I think. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we're back at the point where we need multiple bombs here, hopefully. Nope, we got none, so. Oh, blind, let's go. He was blinded 24% and it worked. Woo, blind, baby. Uh, let's see if I can use it to target the bombs. We got one. <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, blind. Blind's helping a lot here. Blind is helping a lot. And that kills. Let's go. Let's go. Um. Yeah, I honestly think upgrading other things. The shock absorber is one of the weaker things to upgrade. Sapper sack, absolutely not. Every shot has multi ball. Once again, multi ball, multi ball. Uh, might actually be worth it because we got the plus one, plus one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that now. Because also, shock absorber. Yeah. Yeah. I think now we can take it that we have a little bit more damage here, you know? Well, blind actually did something. <laughs> and we're fighting the dragon. We haven't, we haven't fought the dragon. Take chains, you won't. You are right, I didn't. I, I do take chains, though, somewhat. Well, no, no, I don't. Thinking of uh, the confusion one. I don't normally take chains. Chains is, I definitely think, one of the worst. Um, I definitely think it's one of the worst boss relics, for sure. Sapper Sack would not have been good. Absolutely not. Um, okay, let's make sure we're using the Restorb as much as we can. We're at 127 max HP here. Took 20 damage just like that. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know why I was... Well, I know why I was scared of Matt Tropska last time, but I think Defresh Potion was the right play. And now I think Matryoshka Shell is the right play here. So we are just blasting through this, this run here. Um, is there going to be a shop anytime soon? There is, so I'm going to hold on to my money here. Um, so if we can go on not a shopping spree, but we can at least buy things that we might want. We're going to duplicate. Ooh, I'm going to duplicate the replenish orb so we don't get stuck. 
I kind of wanted to duplicate the restore, but I'm going to show restraint and make sure that, uh, you know, we don't get screwed in any way, you know. If only there was a bomb supply healing type of relic. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. This is the best case of Saprasac that doesn't mean it's good here. I don't think so. I disagree, actually. I think the best case of Saprasac is when you are not doing a bomb build. Um, because if you're doing a bomb build, you that's too many bombs. Like, you don't need that much damage. You are going to end up doing so much damage to yourself that if you don't have that sustain, it's going to be awful. But if you don't have a bomb build and you get Sapper Sack and you just turn two or three bombs into red bombs, that can really make a difference, you know? Um, so I'm going to hopefully not kill here. I want to heal. So I think best case of Sapper Sacks when you're actually not even focusing on bombs. I wasn't looking at relics and was basing it off of Shock Absorber. I mean, even then though, because like, I do know shock, shock Absorber gets more, once we upgrade it, right, it'll get more powerful on red bombs and stuff, but Shock Absorber is super powerful when you're just, you're refreshing like we're doing and you're getting a million different bombs, and if you get a million different Sapper Sack red bombs, that's scary. That's absolutely scary, you know? Um, okay, we're saving money, right? We're showing restraint here. That's what allegedly we were trying to do here. <sighs> okay, I'm okay with that. <sighs> that's scared. Sapersec is not a bomb relic. It's an AOE solver. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Um, there's more blind, but I don't know how much melee we're going to be hit it, getting hit by. Um, adventuring could be good, but honestly, I'm going to just remove... I think just removing a pebble it's gonna be pretty good here um and yeah let's go fight four elites in a row what's wrong what, what's the worst that could happen with fighting four elites what's the worst tcg has notably been killed with that many bombs at least twice yeah probably more than that to be honest okay Dude, this isn't. Yeah, honestly, Shock Absorber on the Spin Venture is insane because a lot of the other relics or orbs that you would want to use with Shock Absorber, you don't normally want to use, right? Like, the Lightning is insane with Shock Absorber. But normally, I'm not going to lie, Lightning's not the greatest, but it is really good on Spin Venture just because of the plus one, plus two, you know? So Shock Absorber, I think that's what we're learning here. Shock Absorber on the Spin Venter is just nutty. Absolutely nutty. It's just four upside down, men. <laughs> hey, we're at 69 money. Um, Yeah, let's try to... No, 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 we'll just... Yeah. Guys, I'm going to upgrade. I'll start upgrading Shock Absorber. So now if there is a red bomb, we get a little bit more. And then self-damage from red bombs are reduced a little bit. I don't think we really needed that. But I'm not going to the shop, so for some reason I felt the need to just throw away my money. <laughs> hey! Oh my gosh, before all of this, before all of the elites, we get to fight a freaking boss. Dude, this is, this is an insane run. Insane. Um, okay, let's get a, rid of a little bit more here. And then Necromancer should hopefully be pretty good here. Allegedly. 84, upgraded some things. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I was expecting more. I mean, I don't know why I'm like stressing out about this. I'm not, I, I'm i like, I'm like tactically like, oh, that wasn't enough damage, blah, blah, blah. I don't think I've ever lost one time going and fighting a, uh, an act one boss when you're in act three. I don't think that's ever happened. Hey, summoning circle level two. Max it out. When applying negative statuses, effect to an enemy increase the amount applied by one. Um, so we have blind. I think that would be better. That inten intentional level is amazing, but we have such good healing that I think applying a little bit more blind, right? Blind works on the dragon boss, works against these elites. So. Bombs are going to shred this. They're going to absolutely shred this. Um, yep, try to hit a little bit more bombs here. And obviously, Matryoshka Shell's just good at, um... 
uh, hitting the bombs overall. Also, summoning circle is the uh, is our last orb in our whole thing, so I don't think it actually works. Okay, this is the one that's gonna get insane. Add all these refreshes here. Look at all those bombs, all that rainbow slime. And then, dude, this, this ball lightning. This ball lightning gonna go hard. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Some, it's not, it's not over yet, apparently. Someone alive here. It does, it's just a one-two orb. What are you talking about? You talking about the summoning circle at the end? Like, let's see. Huh, yeah, it just fires a one-two. Oh, so, oh, I see what you're saying. So it still does fire three orbs. Okay, so it's actually still decent. Decent. Okay, um... Upgrade Splatorb. Hey! Hey! <laughs> We haven't seen our relic in a while. Well, we'll take it. Even though the refresh getting merciful would be nice. We got to take our item if we get offered it. Uh, well, yeah, we'll probably get still like honestly 15 to 20 HP from it. Every 30 hit converted into a bomb. That's amazing. Uh, we'll probably still get about 15 to 30 HP. So if anything, it's still just like a... Uh, an apple a day, right? Also, okay, okay, so firing six shock absorbers. It's pretty cool. We're finding the exact same elite. No risk on this one here. This is probably exactly what we could ask for, especially with this build, right? Now we get to actually use the shock absorber. Yeah, I think just with this build inherently, firing a lot of orbs in general is gonna be amazing, right? Just because it helps us get the bombs. Especially now that every 30 hit gives us more bombs. That was huge. That was huge. I know, we've gotten very free elites here. Um, okay. Board will contain two additional crits. Every four times the board is refreshed, we'll get some Merciful and Spinesse. Pretty decent since we're doing a decent amount of uh, refresh here. Um, nah, I'm not going to take this. I like having a lot of HP here. Wouldn't be the worst thing to take since we're still fighting a lot, but nah, nah. What's your waist size? So I can send you my custom belt? <laughs> what? Dude, it also just depends. I've tried certain, like it depends on the freaking sh like shorts or pants or whatever, right? like some some it's like they, they, I guess it's just fashion in general it just depends on like who you or what you're buying or what the material is made out of 15 shock of dude shock absorber going crazy here uh, poltergeist would be decent um, there's not a shop or anything. Yeah, there's no way. So I guess we just upgrade stones for some reason. Immediately. I think, okay, safety net's probably better. I still think Sapper Sack would grant you an easy win. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah, I need to get like a P.O. box or something set up. I still need to do that. So obviously I ain't trying to send people my uh, IRL Addy, you know. Dude, this is insane, man. Level three pebble. Level two pebble. Probably should be healing. That would probably be more appropriate use of these funds here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we keep getting the free elite. Did it? Did we fight that elite every single time? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. This is at least the third time. But I don't know. There were four elites. Did we fight any elite that wasn't this? We didn't fight upside down, man. We didn't fight... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we fought this four times. We have fought this free elite four <laughs> times. Did we fight Slenderlin? Did we fight him one time? Rigged to check his game data. <laughs> okay. Um, Memoir might actually do decent here, but screw it. Um, actually, yeah, deals an additional 0.5 damage. Nah, I don't even, I ain't about that. I'm about the level three pebble. Great two gold whenever the, <laughs> neither of these matter. We'll, we'll take, so actually, let me get a fancy ring, right? Cause we're fighting a dragon. He's got a horde of gold. I'm going to like put on a gold ring right now. Freaking murder him. You know, I'm going to freaking murder him. We, we did fight Slenderlin. So yeah, the uh, the blind is uh, going to be very helpful here. I think Matryoshka shell helps a lot too. Because eventually we're just going to get to a point where uh, we win. You know what I mean? He's going to be so blinded here where we just win. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Are you not on the experimental update? Of what, this game? Is there an experimental update for this game? That was a lot, how is that? Oh, oh, summoning circle, <laughs> okay. I was like, how is it so much damage? There is an experimental update, huh? Okay, well maybe maybe next episode, we'll uh, we'll check it out here. I didn't even see an update or anything. He's at forty percent blind. It's a bunch of new uh bunch of new orbs and shit. Let's go. No, I am not on the experimental build. I did not know that there was an update. So this is like so easy. I mean, there's no way we lose this whatsoever. It might take a while, honestly. If we didn't have the blind. Actually, no, Shock Absorber is here. So Shock Absorber, yeah, that was just 2,500 damage from Shock Absorber. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we finally went in. Oh my God, that was 8,000 damage. Wait, or, oh. Never mind, I might have, might have a, little bit, a little bit confused. I think that might have been 800. <laughs> I was like, how did lightning get to 8,000? I suppose that makes a lot more sense. Okay, summoning circle. It's been kind of a sad one, because once again, it's our last thing here. Still a thousand though. It's just a lot of orbs that we're firing. We were at max health. Oh my God, we're gonna have stones. Let's make stones kill him. Can we kill him with stones? I think the answer is no. Actually, yeah, no, the answer is gonna be yes. We're gonna murder him with stones. We murdered him with a pebble, baby. Let's go. Oh, easy peasy. Dude, that run was just blessed all around. I don't even, that was an insane spin venter build. Uh, and uh, so now just like round roll, uh, you know, we are uh, ready to tackle Crucible 12. And uh, we still got to do that with Baladin. Though apparently that there's there's a new update uh, coming out and on Experimental. So maybe next episode uh, we might be playing the Experimental update. Uh, I think there might be a rework someone was saying to the Baladin starting relic and a bunch of new stuff. So... 
potentially stay tuned next episode might be insane so make sure you guys subscribe ring that bell like all the big boy youtubers say to be notified uh when more peglin videos come out if there are some they'll be on the screen right next to me and if you guys are gonna be grinding out some peglin on your own then i wish you guys luck and see you all next time